Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have two Grunewald leaners uh, in front of me, or rather to the side of me. Um, one is from Austria. I suppose that's where, where people think of as the traditional home for Grunewald leaner. Uh, but one of them is from New Zealand, and uh, New Zealand's been uh, making uh, increasing numbers of Grunewald leaners. I think first was it Cooper's Creek who did the first one in about 2013, 2012. Um, but um, the one I've got today is uh, Seyfried uh, from Nelson, the 2016 Grunewald Lina, weighing in at 12% alcohol, so let's give it a whirl. Apples, grapes, I think when I think of uh, classic tasting notes for Grunewald Lina, it depends on how, how ripe it is. At the, certainly in Austria, I think of the, uh, the uh, lower alcohol end, uh, I get that, that's where I get more of the, those peppery characters and uh, the citrus. And then at the riper end, you get into the more exotic peachy and maybe the, the lentil character comes through more. Here, I stick my nose in and yes, it's this uh, apples and uh, there is a little bit of peachy character. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's something that reminds me of, the, they really have these sweets in, in England called fruit salad chews and they're orange and pink. And there's a character character in the, those that um, really reminds me of this. It smells like it's going to... It, it, it almost feels like... Um, cider is the wrong word, but there is something uh, stewed apple-like about it. And there's this strange edge of um, talcum powder. Yeah, talcum powder. Sounds a bit, I know. But uh, that's what it reminds me of. Um, a dust, uh, when you get that dusting of uh, icing sugar on Turkish Delight, something slightly exotic and rose petal like, uh, but also elderflower and that slightly smoky uh, under ripeness that I often find in uh, quite a lot of English wines, sparkling and still. It doesn't, it, it almost feels like there is something missing. I would, uh, I, I don't know whether it's age of vine, age of wine, or experience with the, uh, with, with making it, but it feels like I would have preferred to, if it, I, I don't know whether it would have been possible to ripen it up to 13%, um, and it feels like some of the flavours aren't quite as developed as they could be. So interesting rather than uh, good. So let's see how the Austrian one fares. And the Austrian one is um, made by uh, Domain Wachkal, uh, which is uh, a cooperative. And um, so it's uh, they're just a Grunewald in a reserve 2015. And this is a bottling that uh, I don't know if it's exclusive to Aldi, but it's certainly in Aldi. So it's th this is, the first one was 12% alcohol. This is 13%. And the first thing I smell is it's not as pungent maybe as the first one, but it smells more complete and happy in its bottle. The first one just felt a little bit disjointed. Here, it feels like uh, there is um, a roundness of, uh, certainly a roundness of aroma. Can you have round smells? Uh, but it feels like there, there, there are no hard edges or anything that need to uh, sort themselves out. Uh, more on the peach edge, less of that uh, apple that I was getting on the first one. And you get a dry, stony, persistent character all the way through the wine, almost acting as a spine for these flavours around it. And this one does have uh, some of that pepper, does have a little bit of that um, lentil character. It's a strange one, thinking of lentils in, uh, in wine. And uh, it's not when lentils have gone all mushy and uh, turned to, uh, um, turned to um, a, a sludge in the bottom of a, a soup pan. It's where they, they still have a bit of bite to them. And uh, they, there is this, yeah, there's, there's, there, there is this, well, lentilosity, for want of a better word. Um, certainly the, uh, the Austrian one is far more, um, yeah, it, it's a more accomplished wine. Um, it's complete, it's drier. I think the, maybe the, the first one has a touch of, um, uh, of sweetness there. But here, the, the, the second one just has more depth, more richness and... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a more grown up wine, uh, and it, so but they've had far more practice at doing it in Austria than they have in New Zealand. So maybe the the test is come back in, to New Zealand in uh, five ten years time and uh, uh, see how they're doing then, because uh, uh, it took them a while to get to, to get so many on right. But once they got it right, they were a force to be reckoned with. Maybe that will be coming with Grunewald Lena.
Maybe not. We shall see. Anyway, I'll see you soon.